Tonight, four police officers from a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona, are on leave amid outrage over video showing them beating an unarmed man. CNN's Nick Watt is following the story for us. Nick, what are police officials saying about this incident? Well, Wolf, the officers involved in their report, they say that this guy's body language suggested that he was getting ready for an altercation. But the chief is not circling the wagons. He calls this video troubling, and he's launched an investigation. Robert Johnson has been patted down. He's unarmed. Officers know he's unarmed, but they say he's refusing an order to sit down. Guess what? I ain't gonna ask you again. Have a seat. So they force him. You're watching security camera video from the apartment complex and this from the officer's body cams. They didn't stop until he was knocked out. They didn't even need to put all that force on me. The level of force is troubling. Certainly, at first glance, this looks like a mistake. And it doesn't look right. And it's my job, it's our job, uh, to collectively investigate. The local officers union tells CNN that Johnson was not compliant and physically resisted what we feel was a lawful detention. Johnson appears calm, but not entirely cooperative before he is hit. Afterwards, he's apoplectic. All y'all had a All y'all Sitting on the ground, that's Johnson's friend, Eric Ray's. Ray's ex-girlfriend had called 911 after Ray's allegedly tried to break into her apartment. Ray's claims he was fetching belongings. He's been charged with disorderly conduct and possession of drug paraphernalia. CNN could not reach him for comment. Johnson's been charged with disorderly conduct and hindering a prosecution for his role in the fracas. He's pleaded not guilty. The reason why they did that to justify their actions for beating him up. This actually happened May 23rd. I learned about it last week, so a week later. And I learned about it from a community member. That community member brought the security camera video to the chief, and this week he released that and the body cam video with sound to the media. The department has now changed policy regarding punches to the head and face. Henceforth, um, any strikes uh, are only authorized in situations where a person is actively fighting with us, actively taking a swing at us. Robert Johnson wants more. He wants those officers charged, his charges dropped, and he plans to sue. They hogtie him, they drag him to the elevator door. You don't start that. Now, Johnson's lawyer tells me that he does not believe that this incident was racially motivated. He says, and these are his words, that Mesa PD, quote, doesn't really discriminate who they hurt.